Hey it's Ripple Scene. Today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Tribe Beauty Box. Uh, this is a bi-monthly subscription. I'll have all the details down below in case you guys are curious. And then I'm going to use this box to create our makeup look that I'm doing today, which is why I have pretty much no makeup on. Um, all these items are cruelty free and one of the brands in here is supposed to be um, woman owned. So let's open this up. I have just broken the seal, but I have not actually looked inside of this yet. So, let me open it up. So we got the info card. So this one is called Vanity and Glam. I'll just have this off to the side for right now, and then we'll kind of dig into what everything is after I've looked at it all. So the first item I'm noticing is from Wander Beauty, which I know for a fact they are cruelty free. Uh, this is a dive in moisturizer. And we'll just grab a little detail. -y. Uh, this is $36, and it is supposed to be a lightweight, non greasy gel cream. Um, that is supposed to be good for up to 72 hours of hydration. So not something you put on every single day, but every few days. Uh, next we have Dr. Botanicals uh, Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. I have never used a facial oil, to be quite honest. Uh, it's supposed to be infused with vitamin C and A. And this is $26. I'll open this up as we go along. Uh, next up we have from... LA Splash Sinfully Angelic uh, Lip Gloss and then I have the shame shade 801 Afriel that's this guy and this guy retails for $18 we'll look at the shade in a moment when I actually do my makeup uh, then we got some brushes here this is from Crown Brush this will be their rose gold eye set. I don't know why it's called rose gold when the items are black, but that's alright. And then yellow spoolie here, so we won't be using that one, but I'll be using these three to do my eyeshadow. And these guys are $19 together. And the last item that we have in the box, which is in the symbol wrap, is the City Limits palette from IBY Beauty, and this is dollars and it has 20 shades so let's open this up to start with to look at so looks just like the box the outside yeah a little filmy bit I'm gonna take off the one that's on the mirror too mirror says you are beautiful and then these are the shades in the palette. So it looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six mattes. And then six shimmers or metallics. But the mattes look like they kind of have some like glitter in them. Like they're not pure matte. Oh, you can see that. But these are definitely metallic. Alright, so that is the eyeshadow palette. Let's go to the lips. What is the lip shade that I got? I did see the spoiler for this and there was like six different shades you could get. Alright, so this has a fun little top at the top. And then this is the shade. So pretty nude. Looks, would look good on me. I'm just going to set these off to the side. Um, I feel like using both these would be a bit much. But I will open them. So this is the Wonder Beauty that that guy looks like out of package. Then the Dr. Botanicals looks like this. So I'm not going to do foundation today. I think I'm just going to use this guy and then I'll just do the other one on my hand. So it's kind of a pinky tone, kind of matches the um, packaging. It smells like roses. Does this supposed to smell like roses? 
I have no idea. This is also vegan. And there is a mirror in this palette, so I will be using that. It definitely smells like roses. We'll see if it dissipates. Or my skin reacts. One of the two. Well, we shall find out. My skin is not doing so hot, to be quite honest. It's very textured <laughs> at the moment. Alright, I'm going to dig into the eyeshadow next. We're going to break out our brushes. I'm just going to use this guy to break it. Okay. Not using that one, we'll use these three brushes. So we have a uh, oval smudger, we have a round blending brush, and then we have a chiseled fluff brush. I know you should clean these like if, when you first get them just to get anything that was like factory off. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to hold these. Then I'm going to scooch you guys in just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing better. I'm going to try keeping my hair out of my face so that way it's not in your guys' way. Um, I do have a little leftover concealer from earlier today on. So that's going to be my eyeshadow base because <laughs> I'm not in the mood to go find a primer. So I'm going to start off with this shade here which is Road Trip which is kind of a matte uh, skin tone. I'm just going to do that all over my lid. You guys can hear someone uh, weed whack in the background. That's what that noise is. Alright. There's the first shade kind of all over as our point. It's got a good, good amount of kickback in the pan. I right, can see that. I'm going to go in next with uh, Glamping, which is this shade right here. I'm just going to tuck that in my crease. And then I'm going to go in with Silent Disco, which is this brown matte that we have. These ones aren't doing as much uh, kickback in the pan as the other one is, but I'm getting a little bit of fallout. Alright, just blending that all over. Alright. That's what we're looking at now. I will clean this up just a bit. Um, next, I'm going to go in with this brush. And I want to go in with Fire and Ice. Which looks like this um, brown-blue duochrome. I just want to see if that's actually what that is. Alright, this is Zoom Fallout and not applying dry, so I'm going to grab uh, something to wet it with. Please, us. Just see if it helps that shade kind of stick down more where I want it to. Yeah, that's helping it actually here. It does not want to apply. If it's not directly wet, <laughs> like I can't just go back in while the brush is still somewhat wet, it's got to be freshly wet for it to want to come off the brush. Alright, since we're kind of going with the grunge, tons of fallout, I'm going to go in with the smaller brush and the shade Nightfall here. I'm going to see if it wants to come off on its own. I feel like I just destroyed the look. <laughs> we can put this on the unicorn. And work it towards here. I feel like these eyes look insanely different from each other. I'm doing the exact same steps. <laughs> and there's tons of fallout. Okay. 
Um, we go back in with that first, that fire and ice shade. Just loading it up on a brush. Then we'll pack some more on. Because we're already this far. We're just going to keep going with it. Then we go back in with this shade, which is Silent Disco. It's like a reddish brown. We're just gonna buff out that corner. Alright. Now that it's kind of all over, <laughs> I'm going to set these brushes aside for a second and clean up the under eyes, and I'll be right back. Alright, I've cleaned up the under eye area and just applied a little bit of concealer just because I had to take off what I had before. It's not looking too bad. Is it my favorite at the moment? No. I don't know if it's the brushes or I'm not a fan of the palette. But I'm going to finish out the eyes real quick before I judge it too harshly. I'm going to keep using these brushes because that is the point. This is the brushes that we came with. So I want to go in now with, I think, this shade, which is VIP. I want to do that on a bigger brush. I'm going to try to keep it concentrated. Now I'm going to take the smaller brush and some playlist. I'm going to smoke that on the inner part here. And take it and blend a little bit up here too. So like that. Then I'm going to go back in one last time with Nightfall. And just douse that inner corner. Try to get that fallout out. Okay. So here's the eye look. I'm gonna throw on just mascara. Because I'm in just a kind of mascara mood, not lashes or liner mood today. There we go. And then lastly, we're going to apply the lip gloss. Now, try not to judge it too much for being a lip gloss because I don't like lip gloss. But, we're going to try it because sometimes I am surprised by glosses. I don't know how to describe it to you or otherwise I actually would. This is very pigmented. Alright, we give it a few seconds to kind of sit. And then I'll give my thoughts on the gloss. But, alright, quick breakdown of what I tried. This I'll need to see on what I think. Your skin feels slightly more moisturized than it did before, but it's a moisturizer. But I want to see if it actually lives a claim of 72 hours. Just awesome. If not, then no gain, no foul. Uh, this I'll have to try out in the future, but I will just do a quick, quick droppy on my back of my hand. Just to give a kind of first impression. Feels nice, but I've never used fish uh, oils. So, I don't know how much I actually would reach for this. Ooh, that smells pretty. Ooh. I know we hate floral. This smells pretty. Oh, this does not smell anymore on my face. I did say I wouldn't mention that. 
if what I thought of that. So, this is not smelling my face anymore. It did dissipate over time. So, if you're sensitive to skins, that's a thing to note. This one scents pretty much already gone away. Um, then we have the palette, which had a lot of kickback in the pan, and I had to dig, I feel like, dig quite a bit into this shade just to get anything, and you have to get it wet for it to actually do anything on your lids. I need to try some more of the shades and play around this palette some more before I actually give like a full in-depth review. I mean this doesn't look too bad. It looks like a look I would do while not going to work. So can't fault the palette. I don't know if this is a color scheme I would generally reach for, just being honest. But It wasn't horrible. It's not patchy. And that's without a base, too. So. That's that guy. The brushes. I did notice that there was some um, shedding. Just on my face. But as I said, you should typically clean these before you start using them. I did have some shedding. And I don't know if my thoughts towards the eyeshadow was to do the brushes or do the shadows themselves with them not wanting to grab onto my lid and versus they just want to stay on the brush so it could have been the brushes as I said I need to play around with this some more I need to play around with these brushes some more with palettes I've used in the past to see if it's the brushes that's bothering me or if it's the palette um, so yeah that's these guys and lastly for the lip gloss it's not doing the gummy tacky thing which I hate in a gloss. It doesn't, I mean, it comes off. It's a gloss. And I can feel it on my lips. I'm not a gloss fan. But this is a really pretty shade. And if you're into glosses, I could see you liking this. So I don't know how, like, how all that's gonna stay on for, like, ever. But yeah, that is my first impressions of everything that came in with this month's, this bi-monthly box from Tribe Beauty. So, if you guys want to see me do more of these in the future, next one I think is in August. I'll be at my new place by then. Um, I probably, I might do another video here at this location. If not, I'm going to wait until after I've moved, uh, which is kind of beginning mid-July so it might take me a little bit to get situated and everything in the new place and I might stop filming beforehand while I'm packing everything up and moving so yeah so this might be less few for a little bit but I'll be around on social media if you guys are curious um, all my handles are down below in the description box um, as well as info for the box if you guys are curious about Tribe Beauty and yeah, if you guys like this video, give this video a pause up, subscribe to the Hot Pack, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!